A few things before we begin. To enable OEM unlocking, of course unlocking of the bootloader, you'll need to go into the settings, go to about phone, so we can enable developer options by tapping the build number 7 times until it tells you you're a developer. Hit back and then select developer options and make sure OEM unlocking is turned on. Now you can proceed with the rest of the steps. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to root your Nexus 6P on the latest Android 6.0.1. So I've done all the flashing back to stock and relocking the bootloader just for this one. So first off we're going to start by setting up our environment of course. So I would recommend making a new folder anywhere that you like. Preferably somewhere where it's quite similar. I'm going to name it the Android folder. I'm going to put this on the desktop here. So just for easy access um, and I will be saving everything on there so next up we're gonna have a few links that we need to go to of course you'll need to install your USB drivers um, if you haven't done so on your computer especially for fastboot I believe that's might be the only one that you'll need to actually install the driver for so this is a new computer so I'll be having to do that so we're gonna go through these one at a time I guess so go ahead and download the USB driver uh, agree to the terms and conditions We'll just click on that grayed out button, which uh, shouldn't happen. So now all we need to do is of course navigate to where we want to save everything. In this case it's on the desktop and we'll just leave it as that zip, just like that. So that's going to download pretty quickly. Next up we're going to need our platform tools, which includes the adb.exe, our fastboot exe, and our two adb dlls. The latest one should be 1.0.2 something. This is the one that comes with all the new flashing commands for our Nexus devices. So go ahead and download this if you haven't got the latest platform tools already. Uh, you can grab them from the uh, SDK as well, the Android SDK. So you won't have to uh, actually... Yeah, so you... Oh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But here, just download the platform tools. Save it again to your Android folder. Hit save like that. Now, this is where the cool part comes in. Because the first... Um, tutorial I did included flashing a modified boot image for a system based root but now if we go to our third link which is our latest uh, super SU working work in progress for Android 6.0 Marshmallow and of course 6.0.1 so scroll down to about the third post not about but definitely the third post here it says number three I'll leave a link in the more info uh, it's just straight to the third post um, and now what we want is the automation one a systemless automatic route. So just download the latest one which is 2.6.6 just click there. Uh, that should download it from Chainpo's website. Just click on this download link right there and of course save it to your Android folder as per usual. Hit save and this one or this way we won't have to download a modified boot image because uh, sometimes it's a little bit confusing if they don't have one for your specific model. Let's move the camera back a little bit. Um, and you might not be able to find it for some reason. So that is done. And the last thing, we need a recovery, custom recovery for our 6P. So this includes, we'll be using TWRP. So we're going to go down and we're going to choose the fastboot install method. So we are going to scroll down here. Whoops. We're going to download links. Sorry. And then we're going to download this one, the well, the latest um, TWRP for the 6P. Might have changed, um, you know, whatever. Just click on that link there, that one, and just go ahead and save it to your Android folder as well. And that will take the longest. So uh, let's do some some driver installation now while we wait for that to finish. So you just minimize that. Go ahead and open up your Android folder and you're going to see the latest USB drivers for Windows. Just right click and right click on it and click on extract all and just hit extract. So we, we're left with the folder within the Android folder. We have our latest USB driver Windows and then we have the USB driver folder with all these cat files, not those cats, but and we also have our imps and whatnot. Right. So this is when we're going to install drivers. First off, we want to power off our 6P. Just power it off. We're going to reboot that or this into the bootloader mode. So we're going to see a little Android. So all you need to do is hold the power button and volume down. 
at the same time just like that and you'll get into the bootloader careful not to press uh, too far or you'll change it into a different menu screen so you leave it where it says start and I just noticed this clock is ticking I'm gonna move that away alright hopefully the ticking has stopped I had a comment about it a while ago and I totally forgot about it so now grab your USB type A to USB type C cable and plug one end into your computer but my computer's on the ground so I'll be using a hub not recommended but I think it will still work fine and plug the other end of course into your phone okay so we're just gonna set that down uh, still in that screen we're gonna set it down somewhere and our computer should perhaps have detected it if not you can check here right click on the start button or sorry start menu and then go to device manager and you should see your device listed on the left uh, here we are so you can see we have a little exclamation mark here next to Android which is what the only Android connected Android device connected to our computer so what we want to do is right click on that click on update driver software then click on browse my computer for driver software next hit browse and then look for it on your desktop Android folder and then inside the latest uh, USB win you can just click on that that folder Check. Make sure this is checked. Include subfolders, and then hit next. This will start looking for the driver software, and of course, it has found it and is now installing. So hit install, and you can leave that checked if you want to, and just hit install. This shouldn't take too long, and that'll get our fast boot interface, the bootloader interface. Not fast boot. Okay. So once that is done, you can close the device manager you can close this driver window and now we're TWRP has finished downloading all of its 16 megabytes you can just quickly check in Chrome here so this is where you can actually get rid of Chrome all of it and we're going to extract our platform tools so click on extract all um, just wherever you like inside that folder and you're gonna see our EXEs so I'm just gonna make this window a little bit smaller so we can manage things a little bit better and what you need to do is we're going to uh, I think you can copy it through when you're in TWRP so I'm going to try that uh, if this doesn't work yeah well it should uh, I've done it before so all you need to do is once you've extracted it we're going to start flashing TWRP sorry we're going to unlock the bootloader I'm forgetting all this aren't I so hold shift and right click and then empty space in that folder and then click on open command window here you can see this nice really big command window so now we're going to type in fastboot devices just like that and you're going to see that we have our serial number up there and, and which shows up as a device so next step we're going to unlock the bootloader which is fastboot uh, flashing new flashing commands here flashing unlock just like that now, now you're going to have to go to your phone and you're going to see this question uh, if you'd like to unlock the bootloader, I might close the blinds. Might be better. Alright, so if you wish to unlock the bootloader, use the volume buttons to uh, select and of course the power button to accept the or confirm your selection. So I'm going to press the power button here where it says yeah, yes to unlock the bootloader, which will um, fully, which will factory erase your phone. So please back up everything. I forgot to tell you guys earlier. Okay, so. Once that's done, you can type in fastboot, reboot. So best to let our phone um, do its factory reset and of course um, boot up. And you're going to see this orange warning saying our bootloader is unlocked and our device cannot be checked for corruption. But uh, you can just leave that, it doesn't really matter. So I'll be back when the phone finishes booting up. So, so far it's doing its factory reset here as usual. and it will boot up as normal so wait for your phone to boot up and you'll have to complete the setup wizard again so you entering your Google account details and passwords to your Wi-Fi access point and things like that setting up your mail and all that and we'll continue when your phone is booted up all the way into Android alrighty so we just booted all the way into Android back at our home screen here quickly uh, took out the SIM card because it tends to use 10 megabytes every time uh, you factory reset your phone and it waits on that menu screen 
of the setup wizard. So, set your phone down. Oh, sorry. We're going to make sure we're going to check another thing. Now we're going to copy over our supersu.zip over here. Let's zoom out again now. Uh, this one, our beta, 2.6 point. Sorry, 2.66. Please focus. Cool. Okay. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, um, so we're going to copy that to our phone. But at times when you reboot and your USB is still plugged in, you've got to reconnect your phone. There we go. And you should see up here, you have a USB for charging. We want it for file transfer. So set that. Now, it took me a while to figure that out at first. I'm like, why isn't my internal SD card showing? So we won't need the platform tools window either. So we're going to navigate to this PC, scroll down to Nexus 6P, and that is where we're going to copy everything. So I like to keep things neat. It's gone blurry again, hasn't it? Maybe it does like the light. Okay, a little bit strange. But we'll do everything a little bit more zoomed in then. I like to keep things a little bit neat and organized. So I'm going to make a new folder and just name it um, Duh, what do I name it? I usually name it just ROMs. Just like that. And I want to copy the Super SU 2.616, just drag it over to the ROMs folder that we just made, or anywhere on your phone, in fact. And we're just going to make sure it's copied there. And that is on there now. So sweet. We're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader again. So we're going to grab your phone, disconnect it. We're going to hold the power button, turn it off. We're going to go through the uh, same process again. And when it's off, just hold the power and volume down until it reaches that Android, uh, the bootloader screen. Just like there. I'm going to leave it on that start menu or anywhere. Plug in your USB-C cable. We should now be connected to our computer. So no problemos. We can test this out by typing in again, fast boot devices. Just like that on the screen, on the command prompt. So we have, it. it is connected. So next thing's next, we're going to flash TWRP. So type in flash, sorry, fast boot, flash, recovery. Leave a space on the end here. And we're going to drag in, I'm not sure if you can see that. We're going to drag in our TWRP image on top of the command window, just like that. And then click back on it. You can see it's inputted the full, um, what do you call it, the full path, file path to the image and hit enter. That's going to flash the recovery image there. And now next thing, we're going to press the down arrow, sorry, volume down, volume down again, and we're going to enter recovery mode. And now this will bring us into TWRP as we've just flashed that. Might take a little while, and that is where we're going to flash our Super SU. Alright, so we're in. Now, if you, I assume if you want to continue to use Android Pay and things that require a read-only or a system partition intact, I'm going to tap on Keep on Read-only just to go with this. I'm going to tap Install. I'm going to navigate to our ROMs folder or wherever you put your SuperSU 2.66 or whatever version it may be when you're watching this. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to swipe to confirm Flash. And now you can just see how easily and quickly it does the patching or the RAM disk of sorts. Here, the boot image um, patch up. So all this stuff is uh, automatic and extremely amazing. So make sure you, you just leave everything in stock. We I didn't do anything to it, and we're just using the latest uh, Super SU for Marshmallow. So right now, we're going to reboot the system and just cross our fingers, and hopefully it turns all the way on. So it's just um, fully turned on here. And we're going to check if we have Super SU. And of course we do. And um, I'm going to sideload in a root checker app and we'll see if it actually is rooted, which I'm sure it is. Alrighty, so I've just quickly sideloaded the 
root checker app. Um, I didn't log in with a Google account for this, so here it is. Hit on grant, and you should see that we are rooted. And our super user management app is super SU of choice. 2.66 there, and of course this is Android uh, 6.01. It might tell you down here. Um, the It doesn't, but that doesn't matter. Oh yes, it does. Our fingerprint 6.01, and we also have the um, build number, which is the MM-B29M, which of course is 6.01, and I did show you at the beginning anyway. So, uh, next step, you might want to install BusyBox, certainly other apps, and of course, uh, some more information if you need it. So there it is, guys. That is how you root the Nexus 6P on Android 6.01 using Chainfire's latest beta, latest and greatest beta of SuperSU for Marshmallow which is 2.6.6 at the time of this video. So if in the future you'll probably get 2.6 points, not point, 2.67 or things like that. So if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below or but I rarely check my email so it's more uh, likely to get a reply if you leave a comment down below. And of course any questions regarding the 6P or maybe even the Xperia Z3. It's got a broken screen but uh, I can still work with it. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this worked out for you. If not, feel free to tell me down in the comments below. And of course, um, have a great day.